Hello, fight fans, and welcome to this historic night in the world of combat sports. I'm your host, John Ramdeen. We are live inside Olympia in one of the fight capitals of the world, Montreal, Quebec. And tonight, professional mixed martial arts makes its return to the province for the first time in more than a year and a half. Record, this is going to be a hell of a fight for the featherweight championship here at Samurai MMA. We are off to the races. The two fighters touch gloves and take the center of the cage. For Morgan, it's really going to be to establish his jab because he wants to have Amo backing up. Because if you let Majed Amo go forward, he's going to be in lots of trouble. And it looks like Morgan's the bigger of the two. Yes, without a doubt. He's enormous for that division, yes. I'd say, right now. I'm pretty surprised seeing the, these two frames together in the cage. Will he use that frame to his advantage as we see Hamill landing that head kick partially and Morgan responds with yes. a kick of his own. With the same kick then the straight. We've got Morgan really trying to time him early here. Both men trying to get in that famous flow state. A good body kick. Alex Morgan like really tactical fighter. He loves to Find, see how his opponent answers, and then from these answers, he's establishing his game plan. With a hook kick attempt by Hamo. Yes, not scared to use these techniques. We've seen him spinning, spinning kicks, spinning uh, back fist, everything. Ooh, that's a big right then by Morgan. Morgan staying technical. Yeah, the jab Straight punches. Jabs are working pretty well now. Showcasing advanced basics. Nice. Hamo looking for the body lock, and the cage keeps Morgan upright. Trying to switch momentum, but in his last fight, Alex Morgan, we've seen him grapple a lot. He was in France and had to take his opponent down, and we've never really seen that wrinkle of his game. But we've seen it in his last fight, and it's pretty good to do so. Able to defend here and turn the opponent against the cage with a good under. Oh, big elbow, he slipped. Elbow scoring in the break for Morgan. See, Ammo already looking to throw combinations, throw volume. And another right hand scores he for Alex Morgan. It. Oh, yeah, when Ammo acknowledges it, that earned. Some wild movements by Hamo. Morgan just trying to stay disciplined. He's trying to establish a good frame. He's even looking for a trip here. Alex Morgan really showing a complete MMA game in the two first minutes of this contest. You do have to remember this is not a sprint. This is a marathon. Yes, championship fight. Morgan with good at position here, preventing his opponent from turning in. And landing another good elbow, and then the combinations with it. Ooh, his head letting the head kick after the come. Morgan really letting go volume now. Already very confident in the first round of this matchup. Morgan wide-eyed as Hamill gets chest to chest. Really good from Morgan to be able to land these knees too in the transitions in the clinch. Always keep scoring. Always keeps going. He's got the double under. Yes, got the double under here. So not really looking for a trip yet. We've got Amo already framing. Looking for the foot sweep. Hamo displaying excellent balance. Yes, and a good. now he's got his leg tracked, but he had a good frame between him and Morgan that prevented the, the shot from Alex. Just over a minute. That remaining in round one. By. Heavy left kick. Nice another uppercut. Two uppercuts score. For Morgan Alex with the knee. Morgan really feeling himself. But Amo and he's answering. Amo seems to enjoy the carnage. Yes, he really wants to make this fight dirty. Now you see a technical 
how technical Morgan is when he's at range. It's tough for Amo when he's able to get in and let go of these ends. But Morgan, oh, switching Excellent it up with work. a good takedown. Got to be careful of the guillotine, but the cage is going to be... 26 seconds. Hamill looking to score with yes, the submission he's got, he's got a good one. He's got a good one. Coming up on top. Can Morgan survive the last 15 oh. seconds? He's under the neck. If he can close his arms together, it's going to be a real close call. A precarious situation for the French Morgan fighter. able to use his uh, butterfly to create some space, and he's going to be able to survive the round. And that's it. Ooh. Round one expires. A scare by the end for Alex Morgan. I told you guys, you got to be careful. Amo is never out. Never, never out. Always dangerous, ready to. Either is grappling, striking. Always ready to jump out of nowhere, take a position, and he almost had it with the guillotine there. And you mentioned it before about Hamo having to make this kind of a dirty fight. Yes, he wants some grappling exchanges. He wants some hard clinch exchanges. He wants to be in the pocket and let his hands go. Because when he's at range, we can see him. He's getting feast up. The jab of Morgan, the straight of Morgan is working pretty well. Good body kicks too. Some leg kicks. But when you see Morgan start to feel himself, Closing the range, that's when Amo can grab onto him and turn this into a very difficult situation. We thought he almost had him here, but look, shot the takedown. That was a mistake because Amo was really, really close with that guillotine. Amazing first round here. Round two about to get underway in our championship tilt. The featherweight title hanging in the balance. And you can see Amo's really having some fun. Smiling at Morgan every time he's getting kicked, getting punched. And... Ammo with his back against the cage. Is that a smart place to be? To be honest, not really, but he manages it pretty well. It's, it's almost like he's trying to lure Morgan in. Then he's going to be closer. And... I think both guys really found something in the first round here. You can see Morgan is jabbed. His distance, but Amo knows that if he can grapple with him like here, he's, he's had some really good opportunities and he can really feel like there's a way for him to win this fight if he can get it to the ground. And that's what is happening right now. And a slip by Morgan. Morgan you, using the leg lock transition to get on top. But and again, the guillotine by Amo. Looking to secure and the it's, victory. It's really tight. And the title. Morgan able to. Secure the grip, but it's still tight. Amo's gonna take that back here. He he's gonna slip. Up. Oh, he's gonna slip. He rushed things. Morgan, Morgan should. Morgan finds himself on top. Morgan should get up. I, I, I wouldn't even want to play there I if I was. I understand what you mean. I wouldn't even want because you see, Amo's so dangerous even from his uh, from the bottom from his guard. Especially when we saw the jab followed by the right cross was winning for Alex Morgan. Yes, exactly. It's really that type of fight that it's almost, I don't want to say easy, but it's the easier way for him That's to right. be in control of this fight. Now he's on top, like we've been saying all night. He's scoring, but at any time, you know, Amo's going to try something and he's got to stay really, really careful here. And the last thing you want is to get swept with Hamo on top of you, looking for submissions. Exactly, because he's going to go in the transition for the submission. This guy's not going to wait around and try to establish a position. He knows what's working for him. And now, with the elbows from bottom, Morgan able to answer with some good ground and pound. But you see, he's really keeping his cool here in the guard. He knows what, what just happened to close submissions. So staying calm. But you can see Amo trying to sneak a knee in, set up triangles, set up arm bars. Amo just really trying to control the position right here. You see him utilizing that closed guard, keeping Alex Morgan close to his chest so he can't administer serious punishment. Yep, and like we've been saying, maybe he's not in the best position right now on the ground, but it's better than standing. So sometimes you say, oh, these guys, they don't want to use the closed guard. They don't want to stay on their backs for too long. But for Amo, it's pretty much the way he has. And you can see he's really tricky with his legs and with his movements on the ground, always working with his zips from one side to the other. And now was looking for a Kimura sweep, but got punched in his trouble. Morgan, Morgan, Morgan. 
chance of Morgan throughout the arena as he scores with another elbow. I like the adjustment from Morgan here, really staying calm, not going too crazy because he knows how dangerous his opponent is. Able to stand up here. Good job by Morgan. Morgan can't get reckless, as you pointed out. Hamill, very game, will try to find opportunities to turn the tides, so to speak. Just over a minute remaining. Round number two. So Morgan's trying to set up the big punches from the from the guard. But once again, Hamill going for the neck, and Morgan just yes, good job by by Alex. Ahmed, uh, Amo has got a, a butterfly here. Maybe he can use it to create some elevation a little bit. Maybe work for a sweep or even a stand up at this point. But Morgan has the arm trap. Can't do much from guard in submission terms. But uh, it feels like at this point, Hamo is just ready for a reset. Yep. Wait for the end of the round. And let's just try to figure it a way to rack up some points going into round number three exactly. and beyond. Because he's maybe not winning this round two, but much better round for him than the first one. As Morgan's trying to make the last second of this round count with some ground and pound. Ooh, one good one that landed here. Uh, Amos defending pretty intelligently on the on the ground though. But that's a good round of action again. Morgan back up to his feet, making his way to his corner. Hamill, slow to get back to his feet. Yes, we've seen him tire out in some fights, but the thing about him is that he still never stops. In the Neil Anderson fight, was super tired. Even people were saying Anderson's starting to pull through with this fight, but that's where fourth round out of nowhere, Amo was able to take the back, lock in the rear naked choke, so you can never count out a guy like Majid Amo. We look back at some of the action that transpired. Yeah, that's the kick that uh, led to the, the, the ground fighting, but Morgan was able to utilize a, a leg lock sweep, I'd say, like looking for the leg and was able to get back. Again, close guillotine, really torquing on the neck. Morgan had to flip through, but was able to, to get out. And then at the end of the round, some good ground and bounce from Morgan to really seal the round for him. A lot of time on top, but the damage was able to make it count. Round three about to get underway. The featherweight strap hanging in the balance. Got a couple of deep breaths and guys nodding at each other. You can see that. They both know that they're in a fight. They both know the quality of opponent that they have in front of them. Well, let's see how this plays out. Is Morgan going to be able to keep it standing this round? Or is that going to force the fight on the ground again? Morgan looking for that uppercut. But it seems like his best weapon, at least tonight, that right cross. Yes. Right there, if he can land that. Really precise, too. That's right. You can see they're always nailing either the chin or the temple. And Amo is really tough eating all of them, but he never likes it when it lands. Amo advancing his position, trying to change angles. The jab is starting to give Amo a bit of a bloody nose, too. Low kick scores. The Alberta resident. And another right hand gets the attention of Hamo. The plasma leaking from the nose. See the weird strikes. Some He's strange trying, kicks trying there. For that, kind of a front kick, but at a really, really weird angle. Hamo be getting creative here. Morgan staying with the bread and butter. That's and right. That's what's working up to now. Both swinging at the same time here. Don't get phased. I like how Morgan, even though when he's backing up, like he's stepping into the pocket, and often when he's backing up, he just lands the jab as uh, escaping the pocket, just to remind him that that's the best tool, and you can really see the nose starting to suffer from that jab in this third round here. And you almost get the sense that the end could be near from a Jed Hamel. Of course, always one shot away. 
Really good sniper, Alex Morgan. That's what he likes. He's at range, trying to, to be precise with his punches and snipe AKO win or a TKO win out of ammo, which would be the first one of his career, never been finished by strikes. Ammo still trying to be unpredictable, unorthodox. Landing some good body uppercuts. <laughs> Morgan answering with the body shots, then coming upstairs. Still working with that jab. Jab City is the name of the game for Alex Morgan. Another good body punch. And you can really see Amo starting to tiring out, and he's missing a lot. Oh, oh that one hurt him. He's backing up now. And Morgan, Morgan going on the offense. Very big shots for Alex Ooh, Morgan. The knee, the knee who by Morgan. the safety of the canvas to Morgan's, entertain the crowd. He's feeling the finish now. Another one. But Amo still so tough, looking for the takedown. Oh my God. Morgan trying to get past the guard of Hamo. A very bad spot for Majid Hamo. It's almost like, uh, I thought he was under, I thought he was looking for a deep half or something like that, but he had both legs here. And Morgan really able to get him flat on his back and establish a real heavy half guard from here. Now, are you, are you surprised that Morgan is engaging in this entanglement? A instead little, of just backing up? A little bit, but I, I feel like he, he feels the finish and like he, he just took back. the full mount sure. and he feels like if he can posture up now, TKO might be there or maybe his opponent's gonna give him his back or something. Oh, he's got the submission. Arm triangle choke by Alex Morgan. Side choke. Could Alex Morgan get the submission, the victory, and claim the title as he jumps back to full mount? That just shows you how tough Hamo is. He is not going out without a fight. He's not, he's not going to want to tap out on that one. He's signaling to the ref that he's OK. Morgan really wants his first submission win, though. Hamo was just able to take the, take the feet of Morgan and put it back in, in like a three-quarter mount here. Still, Morgan in a really good position to deliver damage, but... Outstanding stuff by Alex Morgan, not rushing things, chipping away, inflicting damage on Majid Hamo. Yes, the chess master, and he's moving his pieces closer, closer to a check. That's right. Slowly but surely. You've seen Amo, good work there, was able to regain half, and then he's back in the full guard. So. This defensive position, keeping Morgan close so he can't land punches to the skull. Ten seconds left, and Amo again is going to survive another round where we thought it might have been That's over right. for him. But really tough fighter, resilient, and never going to quit. A extremely dominant round for the hometown fighter, Alex Morgan. As we've seen 10 eights earlier in the round in the night. If the guys here are willing to give 10 eights, I think that probably is a 10 eight right here. Getting ready for championship rounds, John. As we've seen the jab of Morgan, that's really the bread and butter here. What's working the best for him along with the cross. Here, big right cross, really sensing the finish. But Amo able to, yes, eat punch, eat, eat knees too, but able to clinch it up. You see Morgan here really feeling the finish. A close submission attempt, but maybe was a little too high on the choke. Amo was able to breathe and from there was able to regain this position all the way back to guard, so. Going back to the jab, always pumping the jab. That's will, will we see Alex Morgan increase the intensity? Because look at him. he looks like he's in phenomenal shape. He's not breathing hard. To be honest, like he's not that much of like a volume fighter per se. He's a 
really precise fighter, really tactical fighter. So I feel like he's fighting at a quite high pace right now. But as you say, man, his current conditioning is amazing. He can go so many more rounds, not breathing heavy at all, stalking his opponent. And you, you can see that he's really feeling himself right. now. He feels like this could be over at any moment. Alex Morgan seems to be fighting in the moment, but Hamo is not going anywhere. No, he's not going away, man. If he ate all these punches, and again, that kick. Ooh. But he can't leave his hands down. No, that's every time. Man. Morgan was slick with the counters every time. Morgan is going to capitalize, oh. and there we see one of them. That right then is like that, that might Can be Hamo the end. Can take a oh, shot the body to the punch body and him. And look at He this. got him with the body punch. Wow. Morgan is the champion! Alex, Alex Morgan, Morgan! With his good buddy from TriStar, he's now... He's the champ once again! He's never been a place he hasn't been a champion. Here is your winner by TKO! And right now, champion Samurai des Poids Plumes! And now, Samurai Featherweight Champion, Alex! What a moment for Alex Morgan.